<laughs> so can you talk about right to repair and how that fits into your campaign? Yeah. So look, I'm a long time consumer protection person. Um, and one of the things that I care about is competition um, and the ability for us to um, sort of have thriving markets. And right to repair is really a market um, intervention. It, it really blocks a market that you would want to exist. Um, we want products to last longer. We want people to be able to fix them. We want people to take them apart and understand them um, and to generate that. So I think about this fundamentally as a consumer protection issue. When people buy things, they assume if it breaks, they're going to be able to fix it. Um, and we have a generation who assumes that you have to then throw it out. And, and that's that's not how it was, right? Um, and this is not how it needs to be. So I think right to prepare, I mean, this policy has come to be in part because of monopoly power. Um, and this is the question I never, ever get asked, which is what is the sexiest thing Joe Biden's done as president that nobody knows about? And the answer is tackling monopoly power and fundamentally working on creating more competition. And that is everything from part of why he supports unions, because it's about workers being able to push back and balance that power against employers. But it's also putting people who really do the job in the DOJ, doing enforcement, suing these corporations that have monopoly control and use the prohibition on a right to repair as a way to double down and consolidate power and suppress competition, which is really how you have a healthy capitalist market. So I hope that's helpful.